Three, two, one. Okay, uh, welcome everyone. We are back with a uh, special meeting of council, which was kind of a surprise to, uh, to council uh, for Wednesday, September 15th. Uh, and we'll get into um, the, the reason for this meeting in a minute. We'll call the, the meeting to order. Uh, you have before you the agenda. Uh, it's one item as far as I'm concerned. Um, and uh, do we have a motion to adopt the agenda? By Councillor Duchesne, all in favor? That's carried. Okay, right into the business of the day. Mr. CEO. Uh, thank you, Mr. Reeve, members of Council. Uh, we apologize for the uh, um, for the, uh, the bit of a rush on this. We only received uh, notice uh, uh, today uh, regarding uh, our request to the Minister uh, for the amending of uh, the ward bylaws to bring ID 349 into the municipality. It had to be, this bylaw had to be passed by today according to the letter we received from uh, the Minister of Municipal Affairs, Rick McIver. So on May the 1st of 2021, the Alberta government formalized the annexation of the improvement district 349 known as ID 349 into the MD of Bonneville number 87 through order in council 121, 2021. With this confirmation in place, administration has prepared a ward boundaries amending bylaw for council consideration. So attached for council review and consideration is Appendix A, the proposed bylaw 1779 amending ward boundaries bylaw. Appendix B is bylaw 1310 ward boundaries bylaw and bylaw 1441 amending ward boundaries bylaw. Appendix C is a request for decision from the July 14, 2021 uh, council meeting requesting minister approval to approve a variance of a new amending ward boundaries bylaw effective date and Appendix D, revised ward boundaries map in line with proposed bylaw 1779. The administration, administrative recommendation is that bylaw 1779 be given uh, first reading, second reading, consideration of third and third reading. Okay. Uh, so on this, we, we had some discussion already um, this was going back oh, many months ago already, and we were trying to, to find if there was any, uh, anything to back it up from the, the minister. It doesn't look like there is, but the, uh, originally it had been put out that we were looking at extending lines just northward from the existing wards, um, but uh, municipal affairs had come back and said that um, for ease, they were talking about extending from the Saskatchewan border, which is directly attached to Ward 6, and then going westward from there. Um, and that's essentially what we're looking at with this bylaw, correct? That is correct, Mr. Reeve. Okay. Uh, other questions? Or actually, actually, we need a... Uh, uh, Mr. Reeve? Oh, oh sorry, Councillor Jumba. Yeah, I, I think there's been lots of discussion on this, and it's all settled, so... Okay. Yeah, the, so given first reading is what we're after first for bylaw 1779. I still have some discussion. I'd like to know how we decided to go to Ward 6. That actually was the suggestion from the minister. Um, that came back to us months ago. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm not happy with that decision. <laughs> um, I'll probably be voting against it and not asking for it. There, there is, there is no benefit to having it in your ward because any revenue coming out goes to the entire MD, anyways, um, and there are no residents up there to, to make mad, which is probably the best type of uh, <laughs> ward to have. Just a discussion since the, all the, all the oil traffic runs through my ward there. That's all. Yeah, you could say that, but uh, then again, the. Um, all of the um, the air weapons range, you know, it's a, it's largely military, is is directly above the other ward too. So, yeah, it, it's it's of no real benefit to either ward. This is really just an administrative uh, process that we're kind of working through. Well, you know, at the end of the day, the, the issues they're the responsibility of every ward. I mean, yeah. Okay, 
Motion uh, for first reading is by uh, Councillor Jubenville. All in favor? That's carried. Okay. Do we have a motion for second reading then? Me. By Deputy Reeve. All in favor? Okay, that's carried. Uh, do we have a motion to proceed with third and final reading? By Councillor Fedev. All in favor? That's unanimous, so that's carried. Uh, motion for third reading. Okay, by Councillor Skarzen. All in favor? That's carried. <laughs> thank you, and, and thank you, Councillor Duchesne, for your understanding. <laughs> uh, with that, that's, that was the only item on the agenda. We have a motion to adjourn. I have a motion I'll make. Okay, thank you, Councillor Duchesne. All in favor? That's carried.